Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. Um, if you want to know why I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name <clears throat> was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King, hallelujah, is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yeshua the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message, but I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. And nobody else pretending to be me is a wicked demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most. If I don't say the sinner's prayer, please check the description box or the pin. <coughs> Sorry, comment section. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel. May this channel be the home of the prophetic for you so that we can all learn together as one so that we will be in the know-how and we not we will not be in deception hallelujah thank you for those beautiful beloveds in the most uh, higher hallelujah who have blessed me through paypal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button thank you so 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 very 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 much from the bottom the depths of my heart for um, your love offering towards me. I appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Honestly, I really, really do. All right. Um, also, I have a little project in the form of GoFundMe. Um, you read the description box of the pin comment section. If you feel led to bless, then do so. If you don't feel led, that's absolutely fine because you've got to be led by the Holy Spirit to give anyways. All right. You have to be led. If it's not of the Holy Spirit, don't do it has to be led by the Spirit of the Most High. So if you feel led to bless me um, through the project that I have through GoFund, please do so. If not, everything is all right. I still love you just the same. Hallelujah. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Messiah the Christ, hallelujah. But we are also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Daniel 7 verse 25 will be fulfilled. No if, buts, or maybe. It's a scripture that is literally going to be fulfilled in our eyes. Lawlessness is coming. Satan through the Antichrist will say, seek to change times, laws, and seasons. It will be given to him, in, to him and this world will become lawless. Satan will rule that wor this world for a short period of time. There will be no Holy Spirit, no higher the Father, no Yesiah the Son. Make sure your anchor holds in Christ. Make sure that you are found worthy to escape. I believe the worthiness Yesiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 flees into the wilderness. She runs away representing the great worldwide second exodus out of babylon for highest people the woman also have 12 stars on her head representing the 12 sea the 12 sons of jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery in the 1600 a high is going to regather that nation that nation the hebrew israelite nation that's been hurt harmed dispersed scattered throughout the four corners of the earth a higher is going to regather many people say it's a carry the regathering has happened god has already sent back his people down in israel it's not them brothers and sisters they say god went into europe in 1948 told the europeans to go back to their homeland israel for starters and i always say this look the europeans are from the caucasus mountain that is why they're called caucasian if you don't believe me go and ask vladimir putin he will tell you the truth about what is going on they're from the caucasus mountain even vladimir putin himself right his ancestors they're from the caucasus mountain that's why they're called caucasian and they're not originally from Israel, which is Africa, that is not true. So you have to understand history and know history and know what 
is around the corner. The second exodus of the Hebrew Yeshahelites that went through the transatlantic slavery. The most is going to regather um, his people out of Babylon. Every single Babylonian country where his people are, he's going to regather. All right, so after the second exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory with power, strength, and majesty to pay every man according to their reward. You want to make sure that you're on the right side of history so that when Yesiah comes to collect his people from the four corners of the earth, you're in that number. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory be. Prophetic theme song, we are near. Just like the prophetic banner, we are near. And the prophetic theme song goes like this. How now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now. Oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with. Right, confidence. So our brothers and sisters have two ministries, one for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashaelites. All right, let me start off by saying Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. I don't know which God some people are serving, but if you serve the true living Ahaya that I know, he never lies. He cannot lie. He is the truth. Whenever he talks, brothers and sisters, I am telling you, you have to pay attention through his prophets and his prophetesses and his handmaidens. You must learn to pay attention. The most I told me years ago, not years ago, but when, the, when this all sorcery, I call it the hideous substance, a.k.a. the Moonshot 19. When the hideous substance came about, the Moonshot 19 in 20, started back end of 2020, going into 2021 they were doing it because of the divok turn it around you get the proper word divok 19 all right to save lives that's what they say the lord showed me that this thing is very wicked the lord gave me a mandate to warn the people not to take the moonshot 19 the the, the um insidious substance and i've been warning since back end of 2020 2020 up until now 2024 been warning heavily telling brothers and sisters whatever you do whatever you do do not do not take the moonshot yes i understand some people take it because the jobs are at risk you know they have to travel they had poorly family members some family members didn't want to get third brothers and sisters some family members didn't want to get poorly so they take the divorce c19 insidious substance to keep themselves and other and the loved ones safe but it's always a wicked dirty lie from the bottomless pit of hell from day one these people are doing these things because they have a they have an agenda they have a massive mind and i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell the agenda in a bit but you already know the agenda but i'll tell you in a bit so i've been warning brothers and sisters whatever you do in the warning i did come out and i did tell brothers and sisters look these wicked dirty because that's who they are these wicked dirty insidious sorcery companies will come out and apologize and in the comment section people said oh sister karen i don't think they will apologize because you know the courts have protected them that's what they said oh look they said the courts have come out and protected the insidious sorcery companies that you know there's no liability they won't get into trouble but the dirty the devil is a wicked lie absolutely no truth in satan that's why you must not believe the mean dear don't believe them when they come out and they put spew things out there brothers and sisters you've got to learn to have the spirit of discernment to read between the line and understand so when they came out in 2021 saying that you know these insidious sorcery companies that give the moonshot 90 that nothing will be coming off them they can give as many people they'll be absolutely fine because they're covered by the dirty caesars and the dirty pharaohs but listen to me we serve and a higher <laughs> we serve a higher who fights for his people a higher he's a he's, he's a higher of justice 
He is the higher of justice. The true and living judge. That is who he is. And nothing that's done in secret and in wickedness will go unpunished. Unpunished. You're mad. Nothing, brothers and sisters. So in 2021, when these wicked people came out and said, oh, they're covered by the courts, they're covered by the dirty pharaohs and Caesars, these wicked, dirty sorcery companies, nothing will come of them. I said, uh-huh. That's why I came out and I said, they're going to come. And what did I say? I prophesied. And I said, there's going to be a short window. For those of you who remember the videos, I said, there's going to be a short window, very short window, where they're going to lift the Devot 19 moonshot insidious substance. Very short window. They're going to lift it. And said, oh, you know, it's fine. You don't need the Devot C19 business. You're absolutely fine to do whatever you want. But the window is very short. It's closing. We're in that window. We're in it. But it's very short and it's closing. Because after that window closed, brothers and sisters, what this dirty wicked is coming with is something. But I'm telling you. I am telling you, it's not going to be pretty. But anyways, so I prophesied that the window is very, very short. I also prophesied that the wicked, dirty sorcery companies will come out and apologize. And people were saying, no, oh, Sister Karen, that's what they were talking about, the liability. They're protected by the courts. Nothing of the sort. They ain't going to come out and apologize. But I know what Ahaya says. I listen to the voice of Ahaya. I don't listen to the media. I don't listen to whatever here it says but I listen to what the spirit of the most that says to me and sometimes when I come out and I give prophecies to some people it sounds controversial because I'm way ahead of time that's because I'm a prophetess that is how the prophets work they don't work for the now they work for the future so when we give a prophetic um, prophecy or revelation it's way ahead of time. And that's why when the vision comes out, when the revelation comes out, some people don't get it. And so they said, oh, she's of the devil. She's fake. She's false. She's a witch. All sort of manner of evil. And she's stealing prophecy. That's the other thing. She stole my prophecy. That's what they said, right? But prophecies, when it's given by the most high, Majority of time is way ahead of time to warn the people. I warn 2021, window is very short. The wicked is going to come and apologize. So the first one came out and apologized is the Pfizer business, right? Those people did a video about that. But also I had a vision in 2022 where the most that uh, I showed me specifically Pfizer, but it's, it's for all of them, all these wicked sorcery company that Pfizer came out in the vision Pfizer wrote a letter to every single body, everybody who have taken the insidious substance. Everybody got either a letter or email that's taken the insidious substance. And the, in, in the letter, in the vision, it basically says in a nutshell, we're really sorry. No human being should have got this insidious substance. We didn't know. Go to your doctors, go to your local GP. One of the major side effects is that you will have the characteristics of zombie. Mm, that's the vision. I had that vision in 2022. 2022, back end of 2023, one of, the two, two, one out of the two. Then the other day, as you know, the other day, yeah, Pfizer came out, court documents were deeply sorry for, you know, letting the people take the Pfizer. Well, I highly cannot lie. I don't know, like I said, I don't know which Ahaya some people are serving. Like, he cannot lie. He never lies. He's a spirit of truth. That's why you've got to start to learn to believe and trust the prophets. And trust the prophetesses, brothers and sisters. Not all of us are fake and false. Ahaya has his true people out there, I'm telling you. And I'm not boasting or anything like that. You watch this channel as you please. But I know that this channel is a channel of truth. It is a channel of truth. So, when the Most High gave us that vision, 2022, like I say, you know, Wicked Dirty Pfizer came out the other day and they said, look, we're deeply sorry for telling people to take the insidious substance. We shouldn't have done it. It is, you know, it is wrong. But what they're not telling you is the side effects that is coming. And that's the letter that I'm waiting on. 
not me really because I haven't taken anything but I'm waiting on a letter because they're going to write a letter to everybody who have taken it and they're going to play with you tell you to go to your doctors they're going to tell you they're going to write the letter because because you see they're not coming out with the severe side effects that's that's happening but they will come out and tell the people all right so that's Pfizer so for the past two days I've been getting emails and I wasn't really paying attention but I pay attention today really for the past two days I've been getting email um, concerning AstraZeneca isn't it that's a, that's another one and basically this one this sorcery company this insidious one Astra I call them Astra for now sorry they're basically coming out just like Pfizer court documents coming out well I thought they're protected by the courts that's what they said didn't it that's what the mean they had told us in 2021 oh they're protected by but by higher a higher cannot lie a higher told me they will come out and apologize to the people in the window that's very very short where they're going to lift the band of no insidious substances in people but they're coming back don't worry <laughs> they have a wicked plan these dirty devils right okay so so now AstraZeneca, um, Astra, they came out the other day, isn't it? Court documents again. Hmm. Think Ahaya can be mocked. They came out through court documents and basically said, well, you know, um, yeah, we're withdrawing our insidious substances from the market. And um, we're sorry because we found out that the insidious substance has severely rare side effects and no, rare side effects and dangerous side effects. So we're, we're, we're pulling it. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. They're pulling it. Um, so it says, Astra admits it's the VOC moonshot insidious substance caused rare side effects in court documents for the first time. For the first time. Well, it's not for the first time for us because we know that these people are wicked. We know that the moonshot, the insidious C-19 business is from the bottomless pit of hell. Absolutely, absolutely pit. Bottomless, the deepest pit of hell you can imagine. That is where this stuff is from. So for them to come and say, oh, you know, yeah, we admit for the first time that it causes rare and dangerous dangerous side effects but i'm going to talk about the dangerous side effects in a minute i'll talk about that in a minute so good old astra has admitted for the first time that look our insidious substance is very wicked that's basically what they're telling the people it's very very wicked and it shouldn't have been given to human beings oh why is that astra and why is that Pfizer? Why is it that the insidious substance, why, why, why should it not have been given to human beings? Yeah, because you all have a plan. But I'll do that in another video, right? Um. So, yeah, they're saying that they're making a U-turn. That these, these insidious sorcery companies, no, all of them is now coming up, making a U-turn, apologizing. A higher is a higher of justice. The rain, the rain falls on the just and the unjust. That is in the sun shines on the good people and the wicked. That is how a higher works. And so a higher is fighting this battle, isn't it? And it's going to bring these sorcery companies to shame. It really will. Um, so... A lot of things with this with this Astra thing because obviously you know with this insidious um, substance that's been injected into people, a lot of people have died. Lots, lots, lots of people have died. Lots of people have got major injury. Yes, that's what it is. Injury because of the insidious substance the moonshot business from all these um wicked cooperative companies 
So now, legal stuff is mounting up on these people. They think that, oh, just saying sorry um, is just going to wipe things away. So they're saying that the pharmaceutical giant Astra is being sued in a class action over claims that is insidious in insidious insidious substance moonshot 19 right developed with the university of oxford caused death and serious injury in dozens of cases do you know how many people have died from this stuff do you know how many people have got serious injury i don't know if i told about the story about my brother remember for those of you who watched that video i think it was last year or a year before time runs so fast that my brother his co-worker went and took, and he said it was the Astra, because the Astra is given a lot in Jamaica. And um, co-worker went, brother warned him, whatever you do, don't take this stuff, man, just, just stay away from it. We're both in the same job, like, we both do the same job. They want me to take it, but I'm riding this stuff out. So he warned his friend, because he was friend, don't take this insidious stuff, like, just, and the friend was like, hmm, then the way a friend went, Took the insidious stuff and it literally, literally, lit up in Jamaican term, it lamed him up. He like, it was literally, as he was literally zombified. They couldn't find him. He came to work, he, he went to work and my brother saw him. And he said to my brother, look, I've taken the stuff, you know, I'm all right, I'm absolutely fine. Looking for this guy because he's supposed to come in whatever, you know, in his position of work. Couldn't find him. The whole place started to look for him. You know where they found him? In a in one of the buildings in a corner curled up like a snake. Lit like cur they were calling and calling and calling and calling him. He wouldn't wake. Then the final went over there, you know, to pull him up to say, What's wrong with you? He was like a zombie. He was literally dragging. One one of his foot was behind, the other was in front, and he was half dead. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, and this was hours after it's taken the moonshot, not even like two days or a day. This was like within two hours after it's taken the Astra. <laughs> Thank God Almighty Jesus. Father, help you people. I've got another friend who have taken two slices of the Astra. Two insidious slices of the Astra. And before this came out, well, before I saw this stuff, last month we were talking and I warned him. And I said, you need to go and stand on the earth. I warned him. I said, you need to go. You need to go and stand on the earth. Become one with the earth. Ask Ahaya to take the stuff substance out of you. But sometimes when you talk to these people, brothers and sisters, it's like because there's no sad effects that they're feeling at the moment. And it's like... Well, I've taken the moonshot and uh, I'm pretty fine. But yeah, I'll stand on the earth. But they don't take you serious. But here you are. But this person has taken two slices of the Astra. And here Astra coming out and saying, look, we're going to withdraw the moonshot from society uh, because it causes rare and detrimental, dangerous side effects. And when we tell people to repent from this stuff, it's like they look at you as if you're crazy. They look at you as if you're radical. But you got to be in tune, brothers and sisters. You got to be in tune. So, yes, so now this is a second sorcery company that, is, that has come out. And basically admits that their wicked, dirty, evil, insidious juice, aka the moonshot 19, is wicked, causes side effects and death and all sorts of wickedness that happens with it. So we as a people got to wake up. You cannot trust the mean dear. Because like I say, and I'm repeating myself. They're, they were the one who came out and said, oh, the dirty pharaohs and dirty Caesars and the courts have protected all these companies. And nothing will be coming of them. But, well, here you are. 
these are the same courts who have turned on or turned against these sorcery companies like your Pfizer and your Astra. And basically now they're coming out in court and saying, yeah, we shouldn't have given people this stuff. So, all right then. So the next phase of the situation is that, all right, so what are the side effects? <laughs> Come on, old church of God. Come on, old church. All right, so we are seeing snippets of the side effects all right you know your heart is swollen you got headache blood clots pneumonia skin rash you know bloodshot eyes all right things that so what is the detrimental and dangerous side effects that is what they're not telling the people and that is what a higher is going to allow them to write now we'll write that letter that letter is coming a higher cannot lie a higher never lies that individual letter is coming and when it comes, the dirty pharaohs and the dirty Caesars and the mean, yeah, don't worry, they're going to be on top of it. And they're going to play porting, po po you know, as if, as if they're on your side. That's how they're going to come across, as if they're on the people's side. And, you know, telling you, yeah, you must go to your doctor, you must have your blood checked, you know, and all sorts of things. Because they're down the firing line. But a lot of things is going to happen. I'm going to talk about it. Sorry about those itchy brothers and sisters. I'm going to talk about it in my next video. The king of glory cannot lie, brothers and sisters. He never lies. Am I surprised about this? Absolutely not. Because the Lord told me already what was going to happen. It's just playing out right as all the highest told me. Right exactly as all the most I showed me. It's playing out. Playing out big time. And there's more to come absolutely more to come but i wanted to come and do this video concerning good old astra and the hot water that they're in all right ahaya is fighting this battle this battle like i say he is the king of glory he is the ahaya of justice justice for the unjust and justice for the just because even though sinner people you might say, oh, it's Christopher Karen, but sinners may take in the moonshot 19. Why would Ahaya fight for them? He fights for them because what have happened to the sinners is wicked. Remember, he's a true judge. Regardless if you're a sinner or you're saved, if something bad is happening in the land, he will judge accordingly. That's just how he works. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. He's a good, good father. We just need to pay attention to what he's saying. Like I said, there are true prophets and prophetesses out there, brothers and sisters. Not everybody is fake and false. I'm telling you, there are people out there that serve the most that and listen to the voice of Ahaya. This channel is a channel of truth. I can tell you that. And um, yeah, so this is where we are. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most that higher who lives above the heavens. I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In your sight, only in benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings. Amen.